Hey guys, so today I'm going to be reviewing the Celestron PowerSeeker 127EQ telescope. Uh, this features a compact and portable design with ample optical performance to excite any newcomer to the world of amateur astronomy. I bought this online for my nephew and we're going to be unboxing and reviewing it at the same time so you guys will know how it works and the quality of the picture. So check it out. To set up the tripod, spread the legs outward until they are fully extended and push down on the center leg brace. This is the accessory tray. This is used to put all the optical tubes when not in use. And if you notice at the bottom, there is a small screw that you have to thread on top of the tripod center leg brace. This is the equatorial mount and this is where all the movements of the telescope are controlled from. And if you notice, the way it comes right out of the box, it's in like an inverted U shape. So it is very important that you have to remove this screw so you can properly align the equatorial mount in place. After you twist the mount in its right orientation, then you can thread back the screw. With the equatorial mount properly assembled, this can now be placed through the hole in the center of the tripod mounting platform. Locate the counterweight bar and the counterweight. Slide the counterweight halfway down the counterweight bar and tighten the locking screw to secure it in place. Now you can thread the threaded end of the counterweight bar into the declination axis of the equatorial mount. Thread the latitude adjustment screw into the equatorial mount until it is touching the inside of the mount. There are two control cables, one is short and one is longer. Slide the chrome end of the slow motion control cables onto the equatorial mount gear shaft and tighten the screw to secure it in place. This is the right ascension axis and this should be where the longer cable should attach. This part is the declination axis and this is where the shorter cable attaches to. Locate the two tube rings and remove the screws before mounting the tube onto the equatorial mount. The main telescope can now be mounted. Locate the finder scope and remove the knurled nuts on the threaded posts at the focuser end of the telescope tube. 
Orient the finder scope so that the glass window is facing towards the front of the tube. It is very important not to remove this warning sign. Never attempt to view the sun through any telescope without proper filtering. Loosen the screw of the focuser and remove the plastic cap covering the end of the focuser. Then insert the chrome barrel of the 20mm eyepiece into the focuser and tighten the screws. Remove the lens cap from the front of the telescope. The telescope is now fully assembled and ready to use.